I ever get this feeling like there's this uh, energy inside you just waiting to be unleashed. Yeah. That's the vibe I get from Russ McClay's poem, Golden Stove. It's like a roadmap of the body, but not in a medical way, you know, more like a spiritual, energetic anatomy. We're going to dig into all that today. And it's a topic with deep roots, right? Yeah. It's not just McClay riffing on something new. A lot of cultures have explored this connection between the human body and energy. For sure. Okay, so McClay gets pretty vivid right off the bat. He talks about this thunderous rumble at the base of the spine and then... Bam! Psychic lightning bolts shooting upwards. What's that all about? Yeah, it's powerful imagery. It immediately makes me think of the kundalini, this energy that in some traditions is believed to be coiled at the base of this mind. Kundalini. Okay, I mean, you got to break that down for me. So imagine this potent force, often visualized as a serpent, just waiting to be awakened. When it is, whether through like meditation or breathing exercises, sometimes even spontaneously, it's said to rise up the spine, leading to some pretty intense experiences. Intense in a good way. Potentially. You can profound insights, spiritual awakenings, even states of enlightenment. That was powerful stuff. Enlightenment. Wow. But McClay doesn't just stop there. He goes on to describe these gates along the spine using terms like get this way, Lu, Chi Chi, Chu Chen Yuan. Sounds like some serious internal mapping going on. And that mapping actually aligns with concepts found in traditional Chinese medicine. Those terms sound familiar to anyone who's ever looked into acupuncture. Right, like those pressure points they target. Exactly. Those points are all along these meridians, these channels that run throughout the body. And it's through these meridians that this vital energy, or qi, flows. See, now this is resonating with me. I've tried meditation, and I swear, sometimes I feel this, like energy almost a tingling sensation moving up my spine is that what we're talking about here it's definitely possible i mean tons of people who do energy work whether it's yoga meditation or other practices they talk about similar sensations it's like this physical manifestation of the energy moving within wild okay so we've got this potent energy maybe even the kundalini rising through these gates unlocking things as it goes and then mcclay throws in this whole other layer talking about a golden flower What's the deal with that? Yeah, the golden flower. It's a powerful symbol, often associated with spiritual enlightenment, especially in Eastern traditions. So are we talking full-on Buddha-level enlightenment here? Think of it more like a culmination. This golden flower represents the potential that's unleashed when you refine and harness that internal energy we've been talking about. It's like reaching your full spiritual bloom. Okay, yeah, I can see that. So it's like McClay's saying that if we can tap into this energy, if we can learn to direct it, we can unlock a whole new level of being. Exactly. And this ties into that image of the sage on a quest that McClay mentions. The sage isn't just some wise old dude on a mountaintop. They represent someone who's mastered this internal energy. They've achieved that state of enlightenment. Wow. This is making me think about those moments when, you know, you suddenly get hit with inspiration and everything just clicks like a light bulb moment, but bigger. Yeah. Do you think that's our own golden stove firing up? It's a really interesting way to think about it, right? Like maybe those bursts of creativity, those moments of clarity are glimpses into that potential that McClay is talking about. It's a pretty amazing thought. So if our bodies really do hold this potential, how do we tap into it more? That's the million dollar question. McClay definitely leaves us with more to ponder than concrete answers. Right. But he gives us some clues, right? Maybe it's through things like meditation, being present, those practices that help us connect with ourselves on a deeper level. I think so. If we want to stoke our own golden stove, maybe it starts with exploring those practices, experimenting with different ways to connect with that inner energy. Who knows what we might unlock? Man, talk about food for thought. Right. It's a delicious thought. It really is.